sister-in-law, Giovanna Fletcher, who you can watch here if you so wish, but I recommend that you do because she's really freaking awesome. She made a video on comfort zones recently, which I watched about 20 minutes ago. In her video, she talks all about how it's good to leave your comfort zone every now and again because you might go on an adventure and it might open new doors and you might discover new things and new parts of yourself and it's exciting to do that every now and again and it's healthy but as she stresses as long as it's all legal and I completely agree I completely agree that it's good to leave your comfort zone every now and again and it's good to say yes to things that you may not necessarily have said yes to before as I've said a million times on this channel and just in life in general I really don't like performing as myself on a stage I don't like performing without being a character makes me feel weird, don't like it, stresses me out. But every now and again, I'll say yes, I'll say, do you know what, go on then, I'll do it, because I feel like it's good for me to be scared senseless. Sometimes though, I do find myself saying yes to too many things outside my comfort zone all at once, and then I find myself so far away from my comfort zone that I'm like, wait, I need to get back, I need to get back to where things are safe and warm and happy. But recently, as in today, the day that I'm filming this video, I left my comfort zone in a way I haven't left it before. Now, the building that I live in doesn't allow pets in the sense of cats or dogs or hamsters or rats or ferrets or birds or whatever. Anything that can get out of my flat and leave little presents around the building or get lost under floorboards or just wreak havoc anywhere other than this flat, I'm not allowed in the building. So. I got two goldfish, which I did make sure that I was allowed to get. I'm allowed to have fish because they're not exactly gonna go wandering. They're just your average goldfish and I've called them port and starboard. The obvious reason for calling them port and starboard is because port and starboard are left and right of a ship. They're nautical terms and they're fish, so you know, it goes with the theme. But another reason for calling them port and starboard, referring back to Chitty Chitty Bang Bang again, my channel and my second channel are called 2032 and it's way past my bedtime because of the line in the show that said it's 2032, it's way past your bedtime. And there was also a song in the show called Posh, which stood for Port Out Starboard Home, which makes them my posh fish. Port is the one with the black markings. He's got a little black moustache, which makes him look like Charlie Chaplin. And Starboard is the very orange one, but he's got a bright silver tail. I ummed and ahed for ages about getting them because I had to get, you know, a big tank. I've got myself a big 40 litre tank and the filter system and loads of real plants and gravel and a little archway. And I had the tank set up for a week before I had any fish. And for ages I was like, oh God, but what if I, you know, forget to feed them? What if something goes wrong? What if I'm not doing this right? I've done all my research, but what what if I've just missed something out and I kept testing the water every day with these little test sticks to make sure all of the, the water levels were right and they were fine and then even on the way to the pet shop I was like, oh god, it was like, god, can I can I be a fish mother? Can I do this? Can I be the mother of two goldfish? Will they love me? And now they're in their little tank over there on my table and they seem happy. I mean, I don't really know. I can't I can't really ask them, but they seem fine. But I do believe that it might become a slippery slope where they become like my children and I say no to going out with friends because I'm like, oh no, I've got to get back because the fish, you know, I've got to make sure the fish are okay and got to feed the fish. But seeing as I've just got them today, I know that fish can be quite temperamental when they've been moved from one place to another. I know they can get quite stressed out. And I did everything that I possibly could to make the transition from the pet shop to here as comfortable as possible for them. I think I was more stressed out than they were that they were gonna be okay. So for the next week or so, I'm going to be absolutely beside myself whenever I go to work because I'm gonna be worrying about Port and Starboard. I'm gonna be worrying that they're okay and that they haven't gone belly up. Oh my God, what if they go belly up? And I've just got this feeling that for a while, Finding Nemo is going to be my favorite Disney movie. Dear Tom and G, this Friday, Saturday and Sunday just gone, the Excel Centre in London was taken over by thousands and thousands and thousands of people going to summer in the city.